It is 649 right now. There's an alarming trend when it comes to Alzheimer's disease. There has been a near 250% increase in the number of Alzheimer's related deaths in Georgia since the year 2000. Our Y guy has, big, has been digging rather into why some people suffer from Alzheimer's while others don't. Nearly 6 million Americans are living with Alzheimer's. It's a heartbreaking disease that causes the degeneration of brain tissue. This is the one thing that we've all been dreading. Patients can suffer memory loss or find it difficult to walk. It is the sixth leading cause of death in the United States, so we're going to try to explore why so many people suffer from Alzheimer's while others avoid the disease. The older you are, the higher the risk. This is not the man that I grew up with. The overwhelming majority of people living with Alzheimer's are over 65, but the risks go far beyond age. Heredity is a factor. If a parent, brother, or sister has had the disease, you're more likely to suffer. If you've suffered a serious head injury, your risk is higher. Heart or cardiovascular issues can increase your risk. A recent study suggests lowering your blood pressure may help you avoid Alzheimer's. Memories that are attached to emotional memory tend to be coded or stored in a way in which they are easier to recall. People who suffer from depression are more at risk of congenitive decline. Two thirds of all Alzheimer's patients are women, which might be due to women typically outliving men. There are activities that will reduce your risk, like exercise, brain games, and reading. The healthier your lifestyle, the more likely you are to avoid this debilitating disease. And if you have a question for our Y guy, Jerry Carnes, contact us through Facebook, Twitter, or email. It